The COVID-19 pandemic has affected Kenya's food systems directly through impacts on food supply and demand and indirectly through decreased capacity to produce and distribute food. In response to that, the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries and Cooperatives is addressing food supply chain and nutrition challenges through the establishment of one million kitchen gardens in rural and urban households. Through these one million kitchen gardens, the ministry is contributing to the Big Four agenda on the 100% food and nutrition security by enabling households to maintain a healthy diet. The ministry is supporting vulnerable households with kitchen garden starter kits that are simple, space and water efficient. So far, the first phase of the project has supported over 200,000 households through the KSAP, NARIC and CVAP projects. In phase two, the ministry will support an additional 200,000 vulnerable households in setting up their own kitchen gardens. We are here today at uh, the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, Kilimo House, uh, we, where we have the model uh, kitchen garden uh, demonstration site, where we set up all the technologies that uh, all households are able to adapt to, to be able to give them not only knowledge, but also be able to you know, give them the instructions, you know, step-by-step -step guidance on how to set up these gardens. There are several incredible ideas through which one can establish a simple, space and water efficient kitchen garden using locally available materials. They include the corn garden, the multi-story garden, the micro garden, tire garden, moist bed garden, the weak irrigation garden and the simple drip irrigation garden. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can establish a corn garden. Just as the name suggests, the corn garden resembles an upside-down ice cream cone shape. Its plant population is high and it is easy to do crop rotation since different crops are grown on each layer. The materials required are polythene sheets that is heavy. It's commonly known as the dam liner when you go to the hardware shops. You can also use the recycled paper, which you can get in construction site. You could also use the 1,000 one gauge paper, the one they use for silage, but you make it double. Alternatively, you can use old drums. Sometimes we have old drums, old uh, water containers, you just make sure that all the containers have different circumferences. Then you cut them round and uh, just put them layer by layer until you reach the top. We identify the site first and then we are going to make sure that wherever we are siting our garden is, has well drained soil is well drained so that our garden is not flooded when it rains. You identify the area and then you mark the middle point. After you mark the middle point, you measure from the middle point 2.3 feet round and then you put pegs marking the space. After you put the pegs, you bring in the first paper the ground one, the ground, the one that will be on the ground, which is the widest. You put it over the pegs so that it goes round. Start adding soil. Add soil, farming it, making sure that your corn is round and make sure that the soil is well filled in all corners. After you fill the first layer, you measure from the edge three inches inside because the next layer will be inside and it will be three inches smaller. By, by diameter. So you measure three inches inside from the first layer. You put pegs all round. After putting pegs all round, you put again the second paper. Fill it like you filled the first one. Fill it farming the soil. 
you measure a gap three inches inside, fill it again, continue like that till you reach the top. After you fill the soil to the top one, make sure it is well watered, water it and, and allow it to stay overnight so that the soil settles down. When you water the soil, it will settle down and it may even look like it has reduced. So that you come back the following day in case it will have gone down, you can add more soil and then water again thoroughly, do your planting. Make sure you plant your favorite vegetables, vegetables that are regularly consumed by the family. You may also do vegetables that are marketable, like if you're doing several corn gardens, you can also do vegetables that are, can be well marketed so that the family is able to earn extra income. One corn garden can grow various vegetables or you can even do layer by layer and change the crops depending on the season. This corn garden, remember the soil we are using, you mix soil with manure on a ratio of one to one. Manure is used because we, many people now are promoting organic farming and like many farmers also keep livestock. So we want to also use the resources available. Use the manure available, be it poultry, goat or livestock. The only thing you make sure is that the manure is well composed, decomposed until it is powdery so that you're able to just mix with soil. Such manure is able to also improve your soil, the soil texture. And uh, once you plant, you can be adding like three to six months, you add more manure, just add more manure. Use the small garden tools to plow it in so that your crops keep growing. Our appeal to the viewers that may be watching this is you know, see something and implement. This is how we collectively contribute to food and nutrition security when each and every household is able to produce safe food within the confines of their homes. From this tutorial, it is our hope that you will establish your own kitchen garden and enjoy a constant supply of fresh, nutritious vegetables, fruits and spices for you and your family. In case you need more information, kindly log on to www.kilimo.go.ke.